Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for October the 1st for the element of Earth, which would include uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I've decided to use the Lenormand deck again this week. It's been a few weeks since I used it and I really think people like it and they enjoy it and they like the format. Uh, for anyone new to my channel or who haven't seen any of my videos, I am what's called a clairsentient and uh, I kind of like to call myself the relationship expert. Um, that's where I do my best work because I am empathetic. I can feel what other people feel. So if you have any questions about a relationship and want to get a reading, I don't use tarot. I don't just use tarot cards. I use it. I also uh, do energy work. So if you're interested in getting a reading, please contact me. I will return your email within 24 hours, and I usually have a reading out to you within 48 hours or less. All right. So what I normally do is I I have four cards. The first one will be them, the person that you're interested in, or perhaps dating or in a relationship with. Next card is you. The third card is the advice card, and the fourth card is the outcome for the week. Okay. So what I normally do is I shuffle shuffle the cards a bit and then I pull the first card and the net the cards after that it's all de determined by the number on the card all right so the first card here will be them all right so they your significant other the person of interest is number 20 and that would be the garden this is a tough deck to read. Lenormand is the hardest deck to read in tarot. This card, this deck apparently was um, created by a woman who, uh, she's French, I believe, or is she German? I keep, I don't remember. But um, she was the um, person that uh, advised Napoleon. So she made up this deck to help with that. Okay. So here we have the person of interest that you like, um, a very outgoing, comfortable person in society. Uh, this is about something getting deeper. It's about tying the knot. It's about marriage. Um, this is usually a person that kind of likes the limelight and is uh, likes to be in front of an audience. I don't know if any of you guys are involved with that, but it's someone who likes attention, likes to be the center of attention, likes to kind of be along with around with the friends. This week might be a per he might this he or she could be a person this week that just likes to be seen. All right, who likes and likes to be heard. So there could be a lot of conversation going on. You can see that there is um, the garden and this is about social settings and could even possibly communicate quite a bit with you this week okay all right so you see the number 20 so the next card is going to be you and it'll be the 20th card that I draw all right so I'm gonna lay down 19 and the 20th one will be you all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of card is the mice that came up for the, the, um, uh, fire signs this week. So you this week, my friends, you pentacles, um, have to watch for the smaller details. Okay. Um, Watch your words. Okay. This is, um, I don't, this card being beside here, you might want to stifle this person this week. A little too sociable for you, a little too talkative. Um, you might not like this this week. You might, it, this might not be your thing. All right. You might not want to be socializing or even, talking a whole lot to this person um, what is ever on this side of the mouse the mouse is eating up so this is a card here of you perhaps wanting to stifle this person for this week okay all right you're the one who's not really all that interested in talking and socializing it's not going to be perhaps your week all right cards cards are always a card they are always of um, uh, uh, potential all right, 
you don't want to be like this, this is a card of warning, then be more uh, proactive, be a little more um, diligent in the way you are this week. All right, so the 23rd card would be the advice card. I will put 23 down. 23rd is the advice. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, <laughs> here we have number 27, the letter, communicate, the advice, texting. So this is about sending communication. This is about um, mail, letter, text messages, phone calls, some kind of communication. This person wants to communicate. You don't want to communicate. This card here is saying the advice, you need to communicate this week. All right? Uh, it's funny how that comes up. All right? The only for a short time. This card here represents a short time. So, um, this and, uh, hold on here. Okay, so this card is a very short-term card. So perhaps this, this, you know, this is only a week, re weekly reading. All right, get yourself out of this. All right, this is about communicating this week with that person. All right, so the last card is going to be all the numbers that I add up together to be the final outcome. So I have 20, so that breaks down 2 plus 0 is 2. 23 plus 2 is 25. That breaks, 25 breaks down to 2 plus 5 is 7. And we have 7, 8, 9 here. I'm going to break this card down to 9 plus 7 is 16, right? 9, 16. That's 16, yes. All right, so I'm going to pull 15 cards, and the 16th one will be the outcome card for the week. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, I'm just going to, okay, I think, yeah, I think I've got that right. Okay, so the outcome is the rider. All right, this talks about final outcome. This is about... Um... Let me see here. I'm trying to put this together. It's about messages. This is about kind of being swept off your feet. Um, this is a card of being happy, extrovert, extroverted, high vibrational, flexible thinking, fast talking. Um, it's about new perspectives new perceptions, new ways of thinking. So this person wants to be sociable. You want to shut it down. This card here is saying, don't do that. You need to communicate this week. And then this one is saying you're going to get a new perspective by the time the week is done. All right. Getting that new perspective and... Um, you know, by the end of the week, you could be this person here with this person, upbeat, happy, extroverted, vibrational, social. Okay? All right. That is the reading for all you pentacles out there. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a really nice week. All right. Bye-bye.